Well, I am moving from Shopify to WooCommerce, and WooCommerce is giving me all types of problems. Uh, so we are in dropshipping.alibaba.com, and what I want to do is I have a store set up in Shopify, but I'm trying to move to WooCommerce, and it works fine on Shopify. But if you can see here, add a store, we can say add to WooCommerce. So we add the guy, we'll delete. Here, that's the name of the store. And we're gonna go ahead, I got my bang here, password already set up, and just log in here. And this is the error that I get, and it's not even doing anything now, it's just crazy. Uh, <laughs> to connect out, you need to be logged in. Okay, so maybe I'm in incognito. So let's get it out of incognito, and we'll try a regular browser. Let's make sure that this is right, and we're gonna do it again. Drop shipping at alibaba.com. I'll sign in here. And my name here, come over here. This is a regular set, my store. And uh, let's go to WooCommerce. Type in willelite.com at store. Let's see what ha what happens here with, uh, with this. God damn. Oh, man. What a pain in the ass. Okay, here we go. Alibaba would like to connect. So logged in as Will Admin and approved. It's, I mean, it says approved. So let's see what error we get now. We're using WooCommerce. And I don't know what to do because I've been messing with this all day. I've been with uh, uh, the server, the person that hosts us. And uh, we're going to go. I'm I'm gonna show you there's no plugins there's only one theme it's a brand new site and it just does not work woocommerce is extremely hard to set up sometimes uh and this is important because alibaba is one of the drop shippers that we use uh, so here goes the error so this is the an error occurred in the request of time and that's that's the error we get so what we're gonna do we're gonna go to will elite.com and then i'm gonna go just to the dashboard to show you guys that the plugin that we're having we only have one plugin and it's WooCommerce it's a totally brand new website there's nothing here so there's nothing to do uh, now as far as uh, themes we're gonna go here to themes and we are just using the bank just the storefront and it's on version 4.4 4.54 which I got it on automatic update so it should be the main let's go over to the plugins section and see I got this enable auto updates let's go to and let's take a look maybe here let's just see here and update 4.54 let's see if there's anything here that needs to be updated I don't think so yeah see what I'm saying automatic oh man so I don't know what to do in this case oh man this is the WooCommerce so what we're gonna go to do I know that sometimes they may need this and get system report here so I am gonna copy for support and I'm gonna go over to my Gmail and just email them they did respond pretty quickly so uh, let's go to Woo support here and I'm just gonna reply back reply back here and then I'm gonna send them this video still not working so WooCommerce gets a big thumbs down as far as setting and comparing to Shopify so if you're on Shopify it's pretty simple but WooCommerce Wow uh, WooCommerce not working also attaching a video for you yeah right all right well that's the that's the video here for WooCommerce versus Shopify see you guys